Welcome, Welcome to Kids at Home. home. Morning, girls. We're going to talk about Lent. Okay. Right. Darcy, what does Lent mean to you? Lent means to me about giving up something that you like doing. Like, I could give up pizza or chocolate. And if people decide to give up on something, to remind them about Jesus in the fourth days in the desert. something up for like an amount of time like it like maybe like a month or something um i think it's yeah so i think it's when you give something up for an amount of time but i know like jesus definitely um gave up something maybe for easter or something like that so it's definitely something to do with the bible lent is when people go on six weeks or 40 days where they don't do one specific thing, like they don't have sweet things or they don't have like fizzy drinks or anything like that. I think Lent is when you give something to someone. Something that you do um, because you're making a sacrifice to God and Jesus the, um, for the 40 days before Easter. Okay. Meg, how about you? What um, is Lent? Lent is where you give up something for 40 days and um, that um, that's the sacrifice that you give to God. Um, isn't it about something to do with Jesus and giving up something? thinking of going vegan well um i'm not really sure what i could give up but what i could give up i'm not saying i am going to give it up but what i could give up is um like any bad habits like watching too much television or going on too much 
technology um, and just listening to my parents a bit more. Mm, good. How about you, Meg? Um, I could give up being disobedient um, and listening to my parents uh, when um, they tell me to do something and do it straight away instead of leaving it to the last minute. Mm, good idea. Sweets. Sweet. Um, chocolate bars. Um, <laughs> definitely, well, maybe like, um, eating something like chocolate or something. Um, yeah. I'm schooling. <laughs> <laughs> Um, probably like, um, any, like, roller skating or anything like that. And chocolate, and that way I could do 40 days without chocolate, I need chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> what I could then give up is probably my next question. Um, snow. <laughs> Animals. Snow. Sweet thing, like food. Just couldn't give up playing with food. Yeah, I couldn't either. She and I couldn't, I couldn't give up. Um, just like, well, yeah, I couldn't give up that. But I also couldn't give up like, um, not eating healthy food because I know it's really good. And I couldn't give up, um, like treats like chocolate sweets because they taste nice. Okay, screen time. Because in the church we share stuff, so I think it could be because we share things. Because it's when Jesus spent 40 days in the desert. Lent is important to Christians because it's when the, de when the devil was tempting Jesus to do things, but he said no, he wasn't giving in. It's, it's important because it's um, like... It's sort of when Jesus died on the cross, where you sacrifice something, where you like, um, give something to God, okay. and then you get that. Okay, great, thank you. It, um, it's important because you're sacrificing something to show how much you love God, and that, um, like, because you just love God and Jesus so much that you want to show them how much you love them by doing a sacrifice. Okay, great. Hello everyone, it's been great to have you here for our Kids at Home service. I'm Reverend Ben here at St. Leonard's Church and we've been talking all about Lent. What does it mean to journey for these 40 days um, on the way towards Good Friday and Easter Day? Well, this is a really important question for Christians and it shapes a big part of the Christian year. And I'm going to be having a conversation with my friend, my colleague here at St. Leonard's, Reverend Sue. Uh, and Sue's got some really interesting things to say about what Lent is all about. So come with me down to Witten St. Lawrence. We're going to have a quick chat with Sue. What does Lent mean to you? I think for me, it's a kind of big reset. You know that life can quite often um, just get very busy and hurried. Having a time when I know with other people I'm coming to a stop and thinking, it helps me reset my priorities and how I want to live my life. What is one thing that's helped you understand what Lent is all about? I have done things like fasting. Um, I don't know about you, but there is food around the whole time. Um, I can be quite greedy. And I have to sort of remember that I am, um, I was gonna say Lord, lady of my own body, of my own, the own things, the choices that I want to make. And there's something about 
fasting, whether it's from a specific thing like chocolate or something that we stop doing that kind of reminds our whole being that we are the ones making the choices, not the world chucking stuff at us. I don't know, there's something amazing about how God takes the very little that we try and do. Even if I just give God a small amount of time, I'm then much more aware of him in the rest of the day, the rest of the week. And so it's, it's a joyful discipline where we give God something, a bit of time, a bit of space, a bit of silence and fasting, and then we discover it kind of opens up for us a much wider space because we're aware of God's presence through the rest of the day. What is Lent trying to say about what God has done for us? As you were asking the question, I was remembering a book that actually um, I read a number of years ago that's about Advent called The Meaning is in the Waiting. And I think it's the same in many ways for Lent. You think of Christmas, we do all sorts of things, whether it's Advent calendars and wrapping presents, etc., so that we are ready for the day and the excitement of Christmas Day. And I think Lent is similar. It is a way of preparing ourselves to be absolutely ready again to look at the cross, to remember all that Christ did to us and look beyond it to Christ's resurrection, this most extraordinary thing that God has done for us to be with us. And I think for me, that's what Lent does. Again, it clears the clutter away so that we can come again to the story of Jesus walking to Jerusalem, walking to the cross, being killed on our behalf and gives us space because we will never ever fully understand the depths of what Jesus did for, uh, did for us on the cross or the wonder of the resurrection. And so we open up our hearts during Lent to just really come to that time again with deeper understanding each year. Well, I hope you found that helpful, learning a little bit more about what Lent is all about. As we take these 40 days, Maybe you want to set something down for Lent. Maybe you want to take something up for Lent. Um, but more than anything, I think it's important to see these 40 days as a journey into the story of Jesus and remember not just what we might do for God, but remember through this time all that God has done for us in Jesus. How he gave his life to give life to the whole world, to forgive us from all that we've done wrong and to give us a home with him now and always. So have a great 40 day journey on the road to Easter. God, during Lent, help us to keep our eyes on Jesus. Help us to spend more time talking and listening to you. Help us to share what we have with others and to be sorry for times when we have done wrong. Amen. Six.
five, four, three, two, one. Count the weeks till Easter comes. We fast, we give, we always pray. Lent means to follow Jesus every day. We rise to life, we die to sin. Carry your cross, let us begin.